So the first ultimate legend drop of Madden 24 usually is the biggest drop of every single Madden cycle. We get a lot of big name cards and the first gameplay we're going to be doing on Ultimate Legends all year is going to be the 97 overall Dan Marino LTD. He actually is already cheap. By the time I bought him, I waited like 10 minutes to buy him for this gameplay. I got him for around like 750k, which is actually insane to think about. He might even drop lower than that, but this card, high overall. I know a lot of people like to try their different quarterback switch it up. We'll see how he plays, man. Let's just jump right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHEW for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. I mean, I'm not going to lie. In that intro, I was trying to gas it up a little bit. But yeah, this card, boys, I, I, I'm i going to be as honest as I can with you guys. I mean, he's a statue quarterback, so I mean, you knew they weren't going to give him speed. If you're not above 90, you really feel really slow in this game anyway. So regardless, Dan Marino wasn't going to be too fast. But I will say, usually when you get a statue quarterback, they will load you up with abilities, especially when you're an LTD and especially on the biggest drop of the year or one of the biggest drops of the year right but they are doing this they did this with the last promo as well i think it was the the honors cards right this is why the the honors cards are really really bad and they did the exact same thing on the uls they took this bucket which it's not a bad bucket right pass lead elite which is better than sefi lead where you can throw on the run and also by the way boys dan marino's a statue quarterback so pass lead elite is who cares, right? It, who cares on pass lead elite on him? You can't really move with him. But you can see fearless and protected. Two really mediocre abilities this year. You don't really need them. But the thing is, you're probably wondering why don't they discount Sefi leader or gunslinger or something else here, right? Or Hero Master, right? They copy the exact same bucket as this one. So basically, yes. He cannot even get Hauro Master and Sefi lead at the same time. But, I mean, technically he can because you can get it right here. But you need Gunslinger on this release. You 100% need Gunslinger on this release. So, this is the stack I'm running today. This is all eight of our AP. It seems like they are kind of going backwards on this card a little bit. But, I don't know. He might be cool. We'll see how he plays. Maybe the release is different. Maybe he plays a little bit better. I don't know, boys. We'll see how it goes. Hey, the good news is, though, is that they still do have the Super Bowl event. But with a guy like Dan Marino, especially being an LTD, I just feel like you got to be able to get the stack, even if it's for like 7 or 8 AP. The fact that you have to spend 8 AP for even this stack I'm running is just kind of crazy. And, uh-oh, he's blitzing right there, boys. There's no way we're going crib shot right away on that. I mean, that's kind of why you just don't all-out blitz in a blitz that doesn't get all the way home right away. Kind of a boring play. But, I mean, Dan Marino's on the board already. We'll take it. Come on, man. I remember looking it up yesterday when they did show off the, the brand new Ultimate Legends, and he does have his own release, so it's really hard to compare him because this is the only card throughout the year that I, that has had. I think it's called Traditional 3, so, I mean, it's decent so far. I mean, I haven't really played too much yet with it. It's just been two throws, but it's cool. It's cool. All right, in the event, we are playing somebody with no quarterback abilities. Yeah, we're probably just, let's just get into the next one here, boys. <laughs> that was quite the matchup here in game number one. I guess if he's staying in, might as well score one more time and then probably cut to a game number two. I just want to see his deep release. So let's run a bomb real quick. Let's look for maybe MVS. And honestly, I I, mean, I hate to be a hater here, but I, I'm, I might even take Lamar Jackson with no abilities because I like Lamar's release so much more than any other release in the game. But I mean, right there on a bomb. I'm really like, I know I'm being a Debbie. I don't like being Debbie Downers in gameplays, but like this ul's used to be so great if you played mad in the last like I, I wouldn't even say like last year but like two years ago ultimate legends were insane and this year they copy and paste two ability buckets and you put a quarterback that's a statue out here ah it's rough man game number two hopefully we can get a little bit of a better read that first guy i mean that wasn't even it's the event you don't really have skill based matching here so you get some random games so you know we will do with what we got but dan marino like I said, I, I got to test out the short left and short right because if I remember, this release was a little bit stiff at the time, but we'll see how it goes. I just keep on forgetting that I don't have Hour Master. Every card that I've used in the last, like, five different quarterback gameplays has had Hour Master. Besides, like, the Lamar. The Lamar was also really broken, but, I mean, this Dan Reno is going to hit throws when he can hit it, right? I, do, I just wish if Fearless was more valuable this year, I would use it, but, I mean, even when people do Blitz, you literally aren't getting under pressures like you have in past, man. It's, it almost feels, like, worthless out here. I don't know if I'm going to get this playoff, boys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, we're just going to miss an adjustment. That's fine. We're missing our tight end adjustment. And I think we got a D-line user here. And that's where Fearless might be insane, boys. We get it right in front of Herb Adderley as well. Right. I mean, that was a good throw. I'll take it. I mean, it probably would have been a completion anyways with Doug Williams because the release is much faster. But, hey, I mean, I guess Fearless made up for the, the little bit of a slower release over there. We are moving down the field. I am just missing my halfback. I know he gets zero AP running back apprentice. Or I think he does. One of the running backs, too. I can't remember who it is. So, I guess you could put that around if you need Hour Master. But I'm just trying to, like, gas this card up as much as possible. It's really hard to do so, boys. I know you could dot up with every quarterback in the game. But when you're playing, like, really tough opponents, you really want your Hour Master. You really want 
out your stack, it's tough. Especially when we have guys like Pat Mahomes in the game. When we have guys like uh, Doug Williams, who's 300K. It's, it's hard, man. It is hard to gas up a Dan Marino card. I'm trying my best out here. I see right now, because I'm looking on Twitter in between plays and whatnot, and the entire community is raging about the Ultimate Legends. Let me know, how do you guys feel about it? I will say Ultimate Legends and Leo Chanel is a dog. Is always one of the most hype drops every single year. But right now, I don't even know if there's any of the cards that came out. Gene Upshaw doesn't count, by the way. Don't count him here. Are any of the cards that came out today top three or even top five in their position? Like, I'm trying to think right now. Maybe the safety Darren Woodson, but that's maybe... I'm telling you, though, it's just because, like, I, I remember back in the day, like, Ultimate Legends were, like, goaded. Like, even the, fir the first drop, we always got 10 cards where it felt like you almost needed all 10. And, ah, oh, we're missing the throw on the right away flat. Come on, man. I will say, this year, I became much more of a Howard Master player, too. So, now that I'm playing with, like, no KO, or not no KOs, but, like, no Howard outs at all, I feel very, very nasty. And it feels like my crutch kind of got kicked beneath me. And you can see, we already got this guy AFK, man. It's not my fault you threw the pick. And just like that, it looks like we are heading into game number three. I mean, these games are going by so fast. I mean, like I said, Dan Marino could ball when you're not playing the toughest blitzes in the world. But like I said, comparing to the big dogs, it's so hard. All right, so we're actually in our Super Bowl now in the event. So I guess we got three wins in it. We were already 1-0 when we started recording today. Let's let these X-Factor D linemen go crazy. Let's get the ball in Dan Marino's hands. Let's go ahead and win our some coins back. At least make some coins back from this horrendous gameplay out here. And hopefully I answered the, the video question a little bit. That might have been the craziest interception tip I've ever seen. But I am probably titling the video, is LTD Dan Marino worth it? Hopefully I'm answering that question here today by just how I'm talking about him. Yeah, Cam Chancellor. I mean, dude, I was about to replace him with Jair Brown and save some coins. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. And I think we're going to have Kyle Pitts on a little bit of a lob over top. Oh, this is too easy, man. This is too easy right now, boys. This guy and the last guy's teams aren't bad either. I mean, we're just playing some really good ball right now. I don't even know if I'm doing another gameplay on any of these cards as well, boys. I know that it sounds crazy, but Steve Smith is a brand new card in the game. They gave him 95 speed for whatever reason. And then we get Edge, who's just, I mean, ability-wise, and we just got Jamal, and we have the new Marshawn Lynch. It just really feels like... I might just stick with the Dan Marino right here and kind of rant in this video a little bit. But like I said, I don't like doing these type of videos. But when EA gives us cards like this, I'm one of the biggest drops and the opening drop of the year. It's hard not to, right? Good news is, though, is Dan Marino is probably going to win us the Super Bowl here. Our defense is playing good. Oh, he quick snapped me right there. Yeah, the play action on a third down, boys. Never a good play call, man. Come on, pull me my rock back. We might be getting off the field. We might be getting in our Super Bowl win early. I mean, like 4th to 14 already going for it. Down eight points. Uh-oh, Karloftis, man, the GOAT. I will say so far, he does zip the ball pretty fast. I feel like pass lead elite low-key throws the ball a little bit more faster than Sevy lead, but not a big enough difference to make Drew or Dan Marino a lot much worth it. And I think we're going to have a dot in the corner. I mean, we caught it. I think the toe is out, man. Debo's just a little too small. It was just two years ago. Literally, two, I think it was Madden 22. Dan Marino was by far the best quarterback in the game for a fat minute. And even he got an ultimate legend later that year. And he was really, really good. And it just sucks to see what they did to him this year. All right, Debo's going through the gutters right now. All right, let's punch it in, boys. Third and 10, man. We've been struggling a little bit down here. But we're going back to Debo. Debo got rocked twice right there. Even dropped one on the sideline. We finally had to punch it in with him. We got our opponent to a third and 10. I will say as long as they keep in the Super Bowl event, I feel like this game is so much more fun. I don't know about you guys, but just being able to grind this event and make plenty of coins in quicker head-to-head -head games, 10 times better than normal head-to-head, -head, in, in my personal opinion. Let's get one more touchdown. Let's go over the bomb real quick, and then if he doesn't end up leaving, we'll just end up chewing it out. I got to get this Dan Marino back on the market. I usually like to try out these cards and the stream as well during, uh, because like, we usually boot up a stream right after posting these Saturday videos, but I don't know if I can keep this card for a full stream, boys. I just don't think I can. And I know it was a lot of negativity in that video, but it, I mean, EA, I mean, we know what they can do with cards. They know how to make cards good. They were lazy with the double bucket on honors. Everybody complained because they were bad cards. Then they did it again for Ultimate Legends. And bad news is they're probably going to do it for the rest of the Ultimate Legend releases. Fingers crossed that they end up fixing this or at least changing it so cards are good in the future. But at the end of the day, Dan Marino, probably not even a top 10 quarterback, arguably not even a top 15 quarterback in this game. Sad to see on the first LTD UL quarterback, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.